Madam President, graduation is a formal ceremony. It's a rite of passage that marks the transition of one phase of life to another. But more importantly, it's an opportunity for students, family and friends to celebrate. Celebration, what we've been doing this afternoon, and I know that's what we'll continue to do when the proceedings end, so you can rely on me to be brief. So my personal congratulations to you all, all of you graduating today, but especially to those who've graduating today and have shared my time at SOAS, such as Beta Mavizadeh, who began an MA in the Theory of Practice of Translation when I started as a director in 2006, and today has been awarded a PhD. That's the only one I could find who'd started at exactly the same time as me. But Lauren Moore began in 2007 with a BA in Social Anthropology and Southeast Asian Studies, and today has graduated with an MA in Anthropology of Tourism. Louise Challender started with a BA in Hindi and Linguistics, followed by an MA in Gender Studies. And Wynne Boza did an LNM, followed by a PhD, Law. So you have spent about as much time as here as I have, and I hope you've enjoyed the last eight to nine years as much as I have. Now, after today, some of you will continue with postgraduate or postdoctoral study. Others will step into the world of work. Regardless of the path that you've chosen, you're all now graduates and alumni of SIAS. You'll always be part of the SIAS community, as Georgie said. And one of the defining characteristics, as I'm sure parents and family have picked up of SIAS, is our strong sense of community. That comes from identification, a shared emotional connection between members. It means talking about we and us rather than I and me. Now the members of that community obviously include students and staff, but also our many research associates and our honorary members of the school. And I'm very pleased that we're welcoming Professor John Kutz here to this community today. Welcome, John. And as well as a strong sense of community, which is one of the things that makes SIAS stand out from other universities, one of the other things that makes SIAS and alum special is their determination to make a positive impact and a difference to the world. Every year I look through what our students have done, every year I'm overwhelmed by what they've achieved. So I'll just give you some examples. So economic student Sarah Bedford's social enterprise was joint winner of the London Entrepreneurs Challenge Provost Prize. Her initiative, which is called Eat and Greet, tackles social isolation in residential homes, bringing together care home residents with groups of visitors over a weekly lunch. Or take another example. Politics student Maro, Maro Itoji manages to combine his studies, he's just finished his second year, with elite sport, captaining the England World Championship winning under 20 rugby team and playing for Saracens. Or PhD student Portia Awusu, who's won a highly prestigious Fulbright scholarship, joining a community of scholars that includes more than 50 Nobel Prize winners. Portia will be developing her research into English and American literature, slavery and the West African diaspora at the University of Kansas. I could go on, I could give a half hour speech on what our students have done, but the, all these are just examples that highlight the real impact that science students make. I hope that you will inspire you to achieve the goals on whatever path you choose to take. So what does it mean to graduate from the school? Well, by graduating from SOAS, you join a worldwide family of 50,000 alumni, most of whom are still in regular contact with us. We have authors, philosophers, musicians, TV presenters, filmmakers, comedians, restaurant owners, chocolatiers, that's one of my favorites, <laughs> diplomats, journalists, MPs, criminals, managing directors, human rights lawyers, political activists, academics. You name it, and a SIAS graduate has probably done it. <laughs> Whenever our alumni go on to achieve great eminence and be very successful, and you may have heard of our recent £20 million donation from one of our alumni, Fred Eichener, through his Alfred Foundation. Now, if you ever find yourselves in that kind of robust financial position, <laughs> and no doubt some of you will, please don't hesitate to give us a call uh, and your check. But seriously, many of our graduates give something back to the school, not just money, but time. Some fund scholarships, others act as advocates for the university, 
Uh, one of the best things you can do is to persuade people to come to science. Word of mouth is incredibly effective. The Take Our Alum for Coffee scheme puts current students in touch with our wonderful network of alumni for insights and advice into the wealth of different career paths they followed. So, I hope you've gathered, today does not mark the end of your relationship with SOAS. You're now part of this great community across the world, and we'll follow your careers with enormous interest. Now, for some reason, new SOAS graduates can be quite hard to reach. I think it's because everyone disperses around the world. Now, you're all out doing amazing things. So please help us keep in touch with you by giving either the careers or alumni team your contact information today, either in the gowning area or in the marquee. Now, these are exciting times for SIAS. We're working towards our centenary in 2016 to 17. We plan to celebrate this in proper SIAS style in London, but also all around the world. The newly refurbished North Block of Senate House will open in June 2016. The building will offer state-of-the-art teaching and research facilities and student services. And think of the new possibilities it will offer for student occupations. No, seriously, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. I'm getting demob happy, evidently. I would never have said that if I was carrying on as director. That's a shocking thing to say. Right. Seriously, it will mean that SOAS will be, once again, a single-site campus with all the energy, intellectual curiosity, all the other things that define our community concentrated into a single, vibrant precinct. Senate House is the perfect launch pad for SOAS's second century. So, my thanks to all of you graduating today for your contribution to the life of the school during your time here. The school is only as good as its students. And I know, after nine years here, and many visits to universities around the globe, that our students are absolutely the very best that there are in the world. The best of luck to you in the future. <laughs>